it is possible to fit a digital input board into the Plus Series controllers to give the operator the choice to select between two set points. Here on a P6100 controller we do not have that board fitted so we just have the one set point that can be, that can be altered. If we fitted a digital input board, part number PA1W03, we then give the operator the choice to select between set point 1 and set point 2. Here is the board PA1W03. It fits into option slot A of the controller. Now, in the normal operating mode, we have two set points. At the moment it shows uh, 50, which is set point 1, and that's signified by this uh, little dash here, the green dash, that's showing that that is the default set point. And set point 2, 200. You can change these set points. So at the moment we've got looking at set point 1. If we wanted set point 2, then we'd make the digital contact, in this case by a switch, and we're now looking and operating with set point 2, 200. Just disconnect the, the, the contact or make the switch in the other way, and we're back to set point 1. So we can switch between the two set points. On the P6100 controller, the terminals for the digital input are terminals 11 and 12. On the 1 8 and quarter DIN size controllers, the P8100 and the P4100, the terminals for digital input are 16 and 17. The set point that has been selected is known as the active set point. It is only possible to have one active set point at any one time. It is possible to link up controllers that have the digital input boards fitted. For example here I've got a 16th DIN controller P6100 and an 8th DIN controller P8100 and they both have the digital input boards fitted. I've set the um, set point 1 at 50 and on both of them the set point 2 at 200 and by flicking the switch both set points change over from set point 1 to set point 2. The digital input feature can be useful on processes where we do not want to go immediately to the target temperature. Um, for example, perhaps on a furnace or a plastics moulding machine, we may want to go from cold to a lower temperature of 50 degrees. Then when all of the zones have reached that temperature, we would then want to enable the sec second set point, the target set point of 200, and then go st from 50 degrees up to 200 instead of going from cold straight to the 200.